Boy, the arrogance of Savan Grigne really burns me up. I'm glad we don't have to deal with him every week like JR and King do. I think Grigne's earned the right to be a little arrogant, Cole. We don't make it to the WWE without having some uh, pretty impressive skill. In for a friend. True enough, but I don't think that Grigne has accomplished enough in his career yet to justify that enormous ego of his. Tell you, if all these superstars have got anything left in the tank, they'll just keep going. They certainly don't look like they're going to give anything less than a hundred percent here tonight. You know, the key to winning a match like this is to build some momentum, and you're not going to see a match won with just one or two moves. No, but one or two big moves at a crucial. He's looking for his finisher. Here it is, Cole. The eye of the hurricane. He got it. We've seen this before. He'll do whatever it takes to win and take every advantage he can. Hey, no, that's not to make you popular, but you gotta do whatever it takes to win. the law of the jungle, Cole. And injured superstars like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also... I don't like where this is going. Yeah, and I'm sure his opponent don't like that tilt-the-world side slam much either. How can Eric Bischoff let a guy like the Hurricane compete on Raw? He's obviously completely nuts. He might be a little eccentric, Taz, but there's no doubt in my mind that the Hurricane's all business in the ring. The Hurricane is certainly one of the more unusual superstars on the Raw roster, but you've got to respect the Cruiserweight, who stays on a brand full of heavyweights. That's because if the Hurricane decided to man up and come to SmackDown, he'd get laughed at a lot. You know what I'm saying? Come on, superhero, give me a break. Grow up. Hurricane might get a couple of chuckles if he came to SmackDown, Taz, but he's a former Cruiserweight champion, and I have no doubt that he would be again. This could be big, but it could backfire real bad, too. What an incredible match we've seen so far. It ain't over yet, Paul. Sure is it. I think these superstars can keep going for Sayonara, Scout. See you next time. Look at the physique of Mark Jindrak. It's like he was chiseled out of stone or something. Oh, yeah. Jindrak's got a great physique. The guy looks great, no doubt about it. Too bad it's not bodybuilding, though, Cole. It's wrestling. We all know that, Taz, but having Jindrak's strength advantage can't possibly be a disadvantage, right? No, but I also know this, something that, from the appearance of you, you don't know. Wings don't fight back. WWE superstars do. And there's an elimination. You know, instead of showboating to the fans, maybe you should really keep your head to this match. Come on, Taz. You're looking at a superstar who can beat off the crowd and use that energy to win the match. I think Jindrak had better spend a little less time on bodybuilding and a little more time in the ring working on his in-ring skills to make it in this game. What are you talking about, Taz? I think Jindrak's progress has been extremely impressive so far, and he's not showing any signs of slowing down. These superstars are putting on a clinic in there. Yeah, and not a health clinic. I don't think they'll be the same after this one. 
long to thrilled about it, but out is out. See ya. Man, this crowd is really swelling this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans love him, Taz, and he's feeding off that energy right now. It's not easy maintaining this type of intensity week after week after week, Cole. Trust me. I don't doubt it, Taz. The WWE superstars don't get an offseason. There he goes. Tossed out of the ring and out of this match. Man, there's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears shed in that ring over the years. And if these superstars have their way, there's going to be a lot more shed here tonight. Going up the turnbuckle hurts a heck of a lot less than coming down from the turnbuckle. I certainly don't envy the referee in this match. No kidding. No matter what call you make, you're going to get on the bad side of at least one superstar. And that's about the last place you want to be if you're not a superstar yourself. Trust me, I know. Man, even if you end up winning a match like this, you're going to be feeling it for the next week. Yes, but that's the case if you lose as well. And having to deal with emotional as well as physical pain is that much worse. Emotional? What the hell are you talking about? Well, I've been in the locker room after a match and seen the superstars who don't get their hands raised. You can literally feel the disappointment radiating off them. It's not a pretty sight. He just eliminated him with authority. This one could still go either way, Cole. It sure could. It's not over until the referee calls for the bell. I don't think this is just a match anymore, Cole. This is getting personal. Well, what do you expect? They've been beating the hell out of each other all match. Yeah, but it's more than that, Cole. I don't think they look at each other the same way after this one. This has been a great match so far, but I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a guess then? There's no guesswork involved, Cole. But if you're going to be snippy, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. Well, if I knew it was that easy, I would have said that years ago. I don't think anyone in this match has even considered that they might not walk out the winner. I'm sure they have it, Cole. That's the kind of attitude that gets you beat quicker than anything. As soon as you let the slightest doubt into your mind, you can forget about it. And that's something I don't think people realize. The mental conditioning of the WWE superstars is just as impressive as the physical conditioning. You know, we've seen some pretty good back and forth action here, but you don't see too many matches end that way. No, you don't. And I think we'll see one superstar dominate the match before it's over. He's got this crowd solidly behind him. And now he's going to give them exactly what they want to see. You can't just keep playing to the crowd, though, Cole. That's a huge distraction, in my opinion. So, Cole, you got any predictions, uh, you know, who you think's going to win this one? No way. I'm seeing you embarrass yourself with enough bad guesses that I'm not going to risk doing the same. You know, 
don't have to like his attitude, Cole, but you got to admit that Robert Conway's a heck of an athlete. Well, of course he is, Taz. He wouldn't be in WWE if he wasn't. That's not exactly something unique to Conway, you know. He's climbing the turnbuckle. Will this pay off? How much can these superstars possibly have left? They got as much left as it takes, Cole. Trust me. You get in that ring and you find out you got reserves you never knew you had. I can imagine. Nothing pushes you to the limit quite like a WWE match. Man, there's not an ounce of quit in these superstars. There certainly isn't. They're in this one to the bitter end. No doubt for what we're seeing here. These WWE fans are getting their money's worth. If they don't get, I'm sure they will by the end of the match, Taz. Man, you talk about an American icon, you talk about a real American hero, you just don't get any better than a man right here, Kurt Angle. Angle certainly represented his country well in the 1996 Olympic Games, where he won his gold medal. But ever since then, I think his accomplishments have gone to his head. What? How can you say that, Cole? That's practically, that's, that's more or less un-American. I hope the Department of Homeland Security ain't watching this. Oh, come on, Taz. You know exactly what I'm talking about. It seems the more Angle accomplishes, and he's accomplished a lot, the more of a jerk he becomes. I don't even want to have this conversation with you, Cole. If you... That was a heck of a match, Cole. I won't mind seeing them mix it up again. Wait, that's it? No. The ref's just, just gonna let it end like that. Me. Here's your what choice does the referee have, Taz? Rules are rules. Rob yeah, but this isn't Conway. right, Cole. I mean, come on, you gotta admit, this is a chilling letdown for everyone, including these superstars. Yeah. Just look at me. Huh. 